I'm Jennifer Angel, these are Stars Capricorn. Happy New Year to you. And it's 2013, how quickly it comes around. Don't forget to go and have a look at your 2003 over, a uh, 2013 rather, um, overview. And uh, that's on the Mistress of Astrology pages and also the Jennifer Angel pages on the New York Daily News. And they'll both be in video and written form. Excuse me. It's quite a year coming up for you. There's a lot happening this year. Um, you can really bring home and feel like you're making some progress this year. Whereas, you know, the last um, year, I'm a Capricorn. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been treading water a little bit and just holding bay um, and setting the foundations in. So this next year is is. Um, going to come through for all of us so and I certainly hope so starting off the first week of the year uh, there's a nice connection between Mars and Mars is like the planet of motivation and Jupiter the planet of expansion now Mars is sitting in your solar second house of money and possession and Jupiter in an area a sixth house which is an area of work and health and well-being so so money can come through now to do with work, okay? So fabulous because the second house is about the, the money coming directly from your efforts. Now, like you Capricorn to say you can't do anything, but keep in mind there's a limit of how much you can do. So um, this is a good time of the year to... And the momentum is going to build from here. So this is a good time of year to try and build in a support system because the likelihood of you being able to say, no, I don't have time to do anything is probably uh, slim to nil. So if you have like a bit of a backup support system there, <clears throat> you can still like continue to build on the foundations that you have um, because you know you certainly don't want to turn down anything that's financially viable that could also grow into something bigger through you know 2013 but you want to watch out for your health still okay with Jupiter in this area of your chart um, it's good for health on some levels. On other levels, it can just tempt you to be overindulgent, okay? Now, uh, we all know what's right for us and what works for us. And if we can listen to our body, then we can, you know, and pay attention to it, then we'll be all okay. So just something to keep in mind, mind there. And that transit with Jupiter in that area goes through to mid-year, okay, so it is like a lucky transit for for business, um, but, you know, it, it does it does influence you to uh, not do the best for you health-wise, so that will keep sort of coming up, and if you get off track, then your body will tell you and you have to bring it, bring it back. Okay, so this week, Pluto in your sign, and of course Pluto is there for the long haul right through to November the 20th, 2024. Um, but this week on the 6th, see, I knew something was happening on the 6th, um, <clears throat> Mercury, the communica communication planet, which has just moved in uh, on the uh, first of the month, uh, is conjunct with Pluto. So in this sense, you want to be careful that you're being true to you. Like, you know, don't don't sort of kid yourself into thinking that something is okay when you know in your heart and mind and your soul that it's not. So this, like anything to do with Pluto really um, <clears throat> helps you to get real about your life. And right now, communications that you have with yourself or with um, uh, other people and particularly if it's on a media level you want to be open honest and say it as it is and if you do that then you won't have any sort of damage control that's going to come back and, and bite you a little later on so all in all Good start for the week. We did have some challenging aspects last week and certainly around um, family issues it, it could have come up, but hopefully that just highlighted where you, uh, things that you need to look at and enabled you to sort of deal with them so you can get some level of closure or decisions and move forward, okay? But you could still have a little bit of an overhang on what's happening there 
um, but it does promise to straighten itself out. Um, all right, love and luck to you. Thank you so much for all your support. Happy New Year. I hope you've got something fabulous planned to see the year in. Don't forget to look at your goals and, you know, if you've decided to go to learn for New Year's Eve, great time to look at your goals and, and uh, project into the universe what you want to achieve for this year. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching. Bye.